Hi, and welcome to Step by Step through Mark's Gospel. Today, we're going to be looking at Mark chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. If you want to follow along, there's a link to an online Bible in the description of the video. Um, just click it and it will open it at the passage we're looking at today. Let me ask you a question. Can you forgive somebody? I'm not asking, are you struggling with hurt and pain and finding it difficult to forgive? I'm asking, can you forgive? Do you have it within your power to forgive? Well, in one sense, the answer is yes. If I was to steal some money from you today and then come to you later and say, sorry, I was to admit it and say, sorry, you can forgive me, can't you? Because I've harmed you, you can forgive me. But what if I was to go on holiday in France and steal some money from some random person in Paris and then come back again, come up to you and say, will you forgive me? Well, you can't forgive me then, can you? I haven't wronged you, so you can't forgive me. The Bible tells us that every sin is a sin against God. And therefore God, and only God, can forgive us all of our sins. We can forgive the odd sin that is done against us, but God is the only one who can forgive every sin. That's a really important thing to bear in mind as we come to this passage. What happens here in Mark chapter two? Well, to begin with, we have a strange scene. Jesus is in a town, a town of Capernaum. He's in a house and he's teaching people and everyone wants to hear him. There's so many people there that uh, they can't all fit in. They're spilling out through the doors. And then some men come along carrying their friend, a friend who can't walk. And they want to bring him to Jesus for him to be healed. Let me read to you verse three and four. Some men came, bringing to him a paralyzed man carried by four of them. Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus by digging through it and then lowered the mat the man was lying on. Can you imagine that scene? You're in the crowd, you're there in the house, and then some dust starts to fall. You look up and the plaster is starting to crack. And then suddenly a great big hole appears in the roof. It's made bigger and this man is lowered down. It's a strange scene, isn't it? Well, things get a bit stranger because next we have a shocking statement. When Jesus looks at the man, what do you think he says? Well, verse five tells us, when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralyzed man, son, your sins are forgiven. And notice what he says there, your sins, plural, are forgiven. Jesus isn't saying to him, look, I forgive you for making a hole in the roof. Jesus isn't saying, I forgive you for interrupting my teaching. Jesus is saying your sins, all of them, are forgiven. Now, in the crowd are some teachers of the law, and they get quite upset with this statement because they understand just what a shocking statement it is. In verse six, we read, now some teachers of the law were sitting there thinking to themselves, why does this fellow talk like that? He's blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? You see, Jesus is saying to the man, your sins, all of them are forgiven. And only God can do that because only God has the authority and the position to forgive sins. Well, that's not the end. See, Jesus knew the question people were asking, so he asked the question in return. He said, which is easier to say to this paralyzed man, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up, take your mat and walk? Well, the easier thing to say is your sins are forgiven. Although only God can forgive sins, anyone can say it. And it's really hard to prove one way or the other. But get up, take your mat and walk. That's difficult because you say it and immediately it's proved whether you can do it or not. What does Jesus do? Well, he heals the man. But I want you to know why. He says in verse 10, but I want you to know that the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the man, I tell you, get up take your mat and go home. Jesus healed the man. He performed this great miracle. 
to prove to us, to demonstrate to us that he really can forgive our sins. And that's the big message of this passage. And it really is a great message because the Bible says our biggest problem, my biggest problem is my sin, that I've disobeyed God and I deserve God's judgment. But here is Jesus. And if I come to him, I know that he can forgive me and deal with that sin. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you'll join us for the next one. If you want to be notified, just subscribe to our YouTube channel or like our Facebook page. I'm looking forward to the next step as we continue to go through Mark's gospel.